Hey, what's going on, y'all? Y'all already know what it is, so I'm not going to waste my time on that. But um, this is like a channel update slash last thoughts on a tournament that's coming up real soon. So I apologize if I look kind of rough right now. So uh, anyway, y'all missed nothing. The last videos y'all saw was the life of the Ninja Flash X. You saw me um doing things outside gaming, basketball, and bowling. Hope y'all enjoyed those. As a Street Fighter, I'm going to post some more videos of that. Because I know I'm going to be practicing more on that rather than um, Marvel's Capcom 3. Because Marvel's Capcom 3, I feel like I'll be okay in it. I mean, I'm going to practice. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to practice. But I'm really going to try and focus on Street Fighter and uh, definitely train on that more. So, um, I've been doing some casuals with people I'm cool with on here. So, I had set. Big shout out to JX Legend. I had set with him Saturday. It was first to uh, 10. He put my ass 10 to 4. Uh, there was a lot of matches that were close. It was not recording. But it was a lot of matches that were close. And then it was other matches he just wore my ass. And I had no answer for what he was doing. So he definitely helped me learn about Vega, how to get my ground game with him. So I'm definitely passing on that. Big shout out to him for his advice and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, shout out to uh, rblaze 88 I had casuals with him. He's great. He's great, too. Definitely with self. Can't think of that girl's name. I keep forgetting that he's been using. It's not Abuki. It's that other chick. I keep forgetting her name. But anyway, he's good with them too. Big shout out to him. And big shout out to uh, Sci uh, Saga Gamers too. Uh, we were doing some casuals um, last weekend too. All I got to say is, man, I hate e Honda for what that one guy was doing. Like, seriously. So <laughs> he gets the joke because this one e Honda player was... I want to I say he was good. He was the way he was playing was anyway. But y'all see some more Street Fighter videos real soon. Close to tournament time, you'll see me training more on that. As for the tournament, speaking of tournament, I'm still gonna go to it. It's definitely I'm doing Street Fighter and Marvel's Capcom 3. But the third game, I'm stuck. Cause at first I said I was gonna do EX2, but I kind of like uh I kind of want to do Take It Six or More Comeback Nine. But like I said, it kind of depends. I do a more kind of like nine when the game come out. Like I said, if if I feel like I can get comfortable with that like quickly, then I'll just do that. Or if I don't feel like I can do good in more combat, I just try taking on or Street Fighter EX. So we'll see what happens when it get close to the time where I got paid for the tournament fee, the you know, ten dollars for the games I'm gonna play and stuff. So we'll definitely see about that. But as for a tournament, I feel like it's a big step because this will be my first tournament that I've been in since 2009. Yeah, 2009. Because, um, yeah, 2009. Because that's when Street Fighter 4 came in. I did that tournament at GameStop. And I did pretty good in it, too. I made it to the semifinals, but I lost to Blanca, a Blanca user. And at that time, Blanca was my kryptonite. I didn't know how to beat Blanca at all, but I wish I could rewind back in time. And have the knowledge that I have and the way I play with Vega now, that would be a different story altogether. But, like I said, that was a learning experience. And that was probably the only tournament that, that's the only time I went to, actually, for a fighting one. And this one would be a big, major step, pretty much. Because not that many fighters in um, Northwest Indiana, where I stay at. It's fighters, but not as much as, um, you know, cities like New Jersey, Detroit, L.A. Even Chicago got some fighters, but... Like I said, like, Indiana is not known for, you know, the fine community that it is. So, like I said, I really feel like it's like, like I said, it's a big stepping stone and show that Indiana has fighters too. So, believe it or not, that's why I uh, put down my channel as a Indies Beautiful Warrior. Beautiful is for a joke because I like Beautiful Joe, but that's a different story. So, um, I'm going to try to plan to do well. I'm going to try to train my butt off and see how far I can go. And um, get a chance to meet the people I'm cool with on uh, YouTube as well. So I'm definitely feel I can't wait for that tournament because it's gonna be fun, definitely. So um, but like I said, I'm definitely gonna try to train hard and see what I can do from here after that. If I do good, that's great. If not, I mean, you know, it's a learning experience for next time, and I see if I really want to do more tournaments in the future. So this, that's what I'm saying. This tournament is like, like I said, it's really big. So. Like I said, y'all ain't seen too much of nothing. Y'all take it easy, and I'll talk to y'all later. Well, uh, peace out.